Hi, this is Vanessa Fong um, with Handmade by Vanessa. Uh, today's tutorial is for the cute little tiny crocheted baskets um, that you saw in the beginning of the video. Um, so what you're going to need is worsted weight yarn. Um, I used Red Heart Super Saver for all the three colors. Um, the purple one is Orchid which is this color right here. Um, I don't have the minty one with me, but this is the perfect pink. Um, they're all Red Heart Super Saver. Um, now you're gonna be using a nine millimeter crochet hook, and you'll need a pair of scissors. And you're going to actually use two strands of yarn. So you can use two different balls or what I like to do is um, just take one skein and use a strand from the middle pull and then the other strand is from the outside. So sometimes it can get a little tricky if you're not used to it but and most definitely you could use a super bulky yarn if you like uh, with a nine millimeter hook. Um, I just, I had this yarn laying around and it was the perfect color for Easter. Um, so I decided to use the worsted weight instead. Okay, so let's get started. So you wanna start with a magic ring and um, to do that, Go ahead and hold on to the tail end of your yarn and now the two strands will act as one piece of yarn. Just keep that in mind when you see two, it's really one. So hold the tail end, wrap it around your four fingers to the back, take your hook, go under the first piece and grab the yarn right there and then chain one to secure it so this is your this is the ring um, you're going to be working double crochets 12 double crochets into the ring so I've already chained one and what you want to do is chain two so since I've done one I'm going to do another chain so that's two chains and for the whole pattern um, the chain two does not count as a double crochet. It just gets you up where you need to be. So for this round and all of the other rounds throughout the pattern, the chain two at the beginning of the round does not count as a double crochet. So go ahead and do 12 double crochets into the ring. Um, you can go ahead and go over the, the tail as well so you don't have to weave it in later. So to do a double crochet, you'll yarn over. I like to keep my finger here because it, um, it's, it won't slip off as easily. So go into the ring, yarn over, uh, grab the um, yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. Now I say two and it looks like there's four but remember that we're using two strands as one so it's really two stitches, two loops. Okay so that's one double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So that's two now, don't get confused with the chain two because that does not count as a double crochet. Yarn over into the loop, uh, into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now, if you'll notice, I keep my middle finger and thumb right at the base whenever I'm doing a stitch. It, it kind of keeps everything still. Otherwise, you're kind of flopping around and chasing the yarn and it gets a little frustrating, especially with the magic ring. And if you pull the tail, it, it'll get a little smaller if that's easier for you to work with. 
So I've got three double crochets, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, three, four. So do 12 total double crochets into the magic ring. Okay, so here I've done 12 uh, double crochets. So let's count them. The chain two does not count as a stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So go ahead and pull that tail tight. So this is why I do the magic ring because if you do it any other way, it doesn't pull as tight. So now you want to slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. So right there, remember that it'll look like you're going through four, but that's one stitch, two stitch. So go through both loops and then pull through this one as well. So that's a slip stitch. Now you're going to increase this little circle. And by doing that, it stays flat. So you want to put two double crochets into each stitch all the way around. So right now we have 12 stitches. And um, when you're done with this next round, it, you should have 24. So chain two, one, two, this does not count as a double crochet. Yarn over into the same stitch that you slip stitch into. Do your double crochets. So there's one. And in back into the same stitch, there's two. So now into the next stitch, you're going to do two double crochets as well. So there's one and two. So keep doing two double crochets into each stitch all the way around. And count your stitches. You should have 24 stitches, not including the chain two, at the end of this round. Okay, so I am back around. Um, I've got 22 stitches right now. I have one more stitch left and I want to put the 23rd and 24th in the last stitch. So two double crochets into the last stitch. Now you want to slip stitch to the first double crochet. Okay, so this is the base of the basket, the bottom of the basket. Um, so to go up, what you're going to do is crochet into the back loops. So if you look at the these little V shapes, so this is going through two loops. This is the front loop and that's the back loop. So we're going into the back loop only. And we're only doing one double crochet into each stitch through the back loops. So chain two, and this does not count as a double crochet. So do your first one in that same stitch, yarn over into the back loops only. Remember you have two loops just because we're using two strands. So do your first double crochet and into the back loops of the next one. So see how I'm leaving these front loops here. Yarn over into the back loops. So what this does is it's going to go up. So this is the bottom of your basket and then it's going to the basket's going to go up. That helps uh, form the shape of the basket. So continue with one double crochet into the back loops of each stitch. Just one double crochet into each stitch into the back loop only. Okay, so I have one more double crochet to do into the back loops. And then I'm going to slip stitch through both loops of, into the first double crochet. So see how it, it nicely shapes um, the, the basket. Now it's going upwards. 
So for the next two more rounds, all you're doing is chaining two and you're putting one double crochet into each stitch. No more increases. So for two more rounds, so you want a total of three um, rounds of double crochets for the side of the basket. So, you know, we're done with the bottom, so this is the side of the basket. That's one round. Now you're working on the second round. So do a total of three oops, rounds of just one double crochet into each stitch. You're going through both loops now. And then when you get to the beginning, you just slip stitch to the first double crochet. So go ahead and do that for the this round and then one more round for a total of three rounds. Okay, so I'm at the end of Round two, slip stitch to the first double crochet. Starting, now you wanna start your round three, chain two, one double crochet into each stitch all the way around, and then slip stitch to the first double crochet. So I'm just finishing up round three slip stitch to the first double crochet. So this was as tall as I made my basket. You can go taller if you like. Um, depending on your yarn, it might be a little too floppy. So this was the perfect um, size that I wanted for what I was making. So now you wanna make the handle. Um, so to do that, you just chain 17. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this was the size that I liked um, for my handle. So I, when I was working this basket, I just chained as many as I thought would be the perfect size and 17 was um, sort of the magic number. <laughs> so now you want to go back down your chains doing half double crochets. So yarn over into the second loop from your hook. So that one doesn't count, one, two, and then yarn over and pull through all three. So that's a half double crochet, yarn over into the next chain stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over into the next chain stitch, yarn over and pull through three. So you wanna do half double crochets into each chain stitch all the way back. Oops, make sure you go through both strands Okay, so I have one more stitch right there to do my half double crochet. Yarn over into the last stitch. Yarn over, pull through three. So you should have 16 half double crochets. You changed 17, but one chain was your turning chain. So you end up with 16 half double crochets. So what I did was I put that down alongside of the basket and I liked it. It kind of matches, not matches, but it fits right into this. So if you, this is the chain you came out of doing your chain stitches. So that's one and you skip the next one and then into the third one, that's where you'll do your slip stitch. So into the third, third stitch, do a slip stitch to join your, and then cut your yarn leaving a tail so you can weave in your ends, and then once more yarn over and then pull through your loop and all the way through, tighten that. So that is um, 
one side to attach the other side. So I made this sort of last minute and I was rushing. So to attach it to the other side, I'm just going to go ahead and eyeball it. If you want to count your stitches and make sure it's exactly even on both sides, then go ahead and do that. <laughs> um, for this project, I didn't really care, so I just sort of eyeballed it, folded it in half, um, and uh, since this side was attached by three stitches, you want to use three stitches on this side. So what you're going to do is take a piece of yarn um, with your yarn needle. Make sure it has a large eye because you'll need to uh, weave in the other side with two strands. So with these three stitches right here, I am going to go through So you see how there's sort of one, two, three stitches right there. So I'm going to go through the first stitch, pull it, leaving some tail right there, go back through the very end of the strap right there. And then I just tie two knots to secure in the back. I'm a knot tire. Okay, so now you want to go through the second stitch. So we went through this one. Go through the second stitch and then go through sort of the middle of the strap and then you want to go through back up the third stitch and then attach it to the other side of the strap, okay? So now on the opposite side, I flip it over because it's easier for me to work with. I just run that back down here and then kind of up. Basically, I want to get back to the other side so that I can <laughs> tie more knots. So I'll tie a couple of knots right there and then um, I'll weave in my ends. So I wanna make sure that's the same length. And then you just weave in all your ends. So you have the finishing end from right here, the one where you attach the other side of the basket, and then your starting one. So go ahead and weave all those and ends in, and um, then your basket's done. So these are really quick uh, projects. How cute is that? Um, it was perfect for my nieces and nephew for Easter. Um, and you can use it for other purposes. You know, you could just, you could not attach um, a handle if you don't want a handle. And you could put a little pot in here for succulents or whatever. They're just, it's uh, versatile. You can use it for a lot of different things. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it.